A gunman sits down and waits for law enforcement moments after shooting another man dead. Good morning. Glad you're with us. I'm James Tully and good morning. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Our crew out there talked with the victim's family this morning. Let's get right to Isabel Rosales live on Villa Road. Isabel, what did they say happened? Dia, that family telling me that the 28 year old victim was hallucinating after seizures yesterday night. He walked from his mother's house right over here straight across to this neighbor's home where he started loudly knocking on the door and the windows asking for help. Moments later, he was dead. An emotional plea from mother Marjorie Williams. No, what can you do? What can you say to see your baby get killed like that for no reason? She tells me her son Brad Scott was only in the state to help her move back to Indiana. I heard him saying, let me in. You know, they're trying to get me. They're trying to get me. And they, they shot him. Friend Amir Coley says he'd been trying to keep an eye on Scott. The 28 year old had been acting strangely after multiple seizures. The aftermath of the shooting, an unnerving sight for neighbors. Me and my wife heard three gunshots after an argument. Um, at that point, we came to the corner and I heard, heard the lady screaming. Our cameras were rolling as first responders treated a handcuffed man and later loaded him into an ambulance. William tells me her son died on the spot. He was beating on your door. He was beating on your window. Why would you take my baby's life? And she asked why shoot instead of calling 911. Now, I did speak with the family who lives at this home, trying to get their side of the story, but they did not want to go on camera. Meanwhile, a spokesperson with the Hernando County Sheriff's Office tells me that this was an isolated incident, that nobody has been arrested, and that they need to speak with the state attorney's office before further commenting. Live in Spring Hill, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.